Welcome, Digital Explorer, to another episode of The Internet. Today's episode, we're going to look at the most valuable tool for research on the net. Just jack it to your patented hand deck and hop in. As stated in previous episodes, the net is the fastest way to get anything you could ever need. Books, food, videos, and even more. Ah! We have arrived. Why does it look so evil? Ha <laughs> ha! How silly. We already told you, the internet is a terrible place to be. Now let's see, Amazon? No. Facebook? No. Reddit, Fortune, and Tumblr? Oh god, no. Ah, yes, here we are. Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the best way to find 100% truthful facts about anything you'd ever need. Don't worry if you find a picture of Justin Bieber in the page about leukemia, it's probably still true. Even though the net is full of those nasty trolls, Wikipedia has a professional team of admin and editors to make sure no article gets tampered with. Yup, all 12 of them. What makes Wikipedia so great, you ask? Well, it's a completely free and open to use. Anyone has access to the vast, all-encumbering knowledge of the website. Except, of course, North Korea. Because they're a totalitarian dictatorship. Now that you're completely knowledgeable on Wikipedia, we can look into the article. Excuse me, Wikipedia is a completely free service with no advertising for oh your boy, benefit. Oh here we go. Just ignore her. Let's move on. But being free so means let's, we let's, need let's money for upkeep. Article. If everyone just donated an extra three dollars. Let's just choose a random article out of the ethereal tube of the internet. Aha! Scooty Shearwaters. Ma'am, could you get the article, please? Of course. But remember, this is a free service, so any money yeah, yeah, you can give would help article. us so much. Ah, yes. All the information is straight to your brain so fast it almost feels like it hurts. But don't worry, that's just the feeling of a few hundred volts of data being shot directly into your frontal lobe. As you can see, most articles are walls of text to the left and pictures of little facts to the right. You can ignore everything to the left if you're here for research purposes. Just look for the little notes to your right. Now lastly, the sources. This shows you where the article writer got his information page. You can completely ignore this as Wikipedia is its own source. Now there you have it. That's all for today's episode of The Internet. We learned a lot today about Wikipedia. Don't worry, the feeling of a full brain is natural. However, if your ears are bleeding, shut this off and go see a doctor. On the next episode, we're going to delve into the wonderful, fun video website of YouTube and show you how it's more than just a website full of cats.